TV is here at Explore 2000 Middle School where they're holding their annual science fair for the first time in its new location in Jersey City. Sure. Today we have a collaborative science fair and that consists of the students of Explore 2000 Middle School working with students from Waterfront Montessori from downtown Jersey City. Okay. And how did um, the children come up with these concepts? The children have the opportunity over the summer to discover whatever is of interest to them within the areas of science and technology. And then based on that, our facilitators in September foster their level of interest and their ideas and then they create a project. Project. And what is the age range for the children that are participating today? So today we have the Explore 2000 Middle School, which is 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. And then the Waterfront Montessori School has 4th through 8th grade. The school's philosophy is an interesting one and different from traditional schools in the sense that everything is very hands-on in a different way of learning and education. And we try to make it practical for the kids where they could, uh, where it's not only a classroom type of academic uh, structure to it, but there's more hands-on where you can actually see see the, the application of what you're learning. It's a, it's a great opportunity for you. I wish there was a school for me like this one. Yeah, exactly. yeah. The Science Fair is such an exciting day for students because they get to meet children from other schools and swap different ideas on the Science Fair. So tell me what you're doing right now. Um, I am doing electrolysis and I am, right now I'm just putting like two spoons. Um, but to do this, you have to make sure they're not touching. Uh, why is that? Because if they touch, for example right now, if they touch, the reaction stops. And what is this for exactly? Um, basically, um, this is usually used for hair removal and rust removal. I made, um, I made rock candy, or also known as sugar crystals. Yum. And um, mine are edible, so. Excellent. And so basically, my materials were um, cotton string, one pencil or color pencil, but in my situation I used a color pencil, um, three cups of sugar, one cup of water, um, two and a, one and a half teaspoons of lemon extract, two plastic cups, a wooden stick, a wooden spoon, and a saucepan. This is the example of the of how the cup turned out. Okay. This is the example of how the um, crystals turned out on the stick. Um, borax is actually a white mineral that is used as a laundry booster sometimes to clean off stains off your shirt. And it is also used to make glass. Is this your first time participating in the science fair? Um, no, this is not my first time participating in a science fair. I participated in one last year at my old school. Okay. Um, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. It seems like a lot of fun. Tell me what the best part about today is for you. The best part is like seeing everyone else's hard work and their projects. I really like all of their projects. And the best part is presenting mine to other people so they can see what I did too. So like I was thinking and I go camping a lot and so in case I was camping uh, I was thinking I wanted to cook something but how? So I decided to make a solar oven which uh, the sun's heat will reflect from here to here. It's just not that stable. It's supposed to go like that. Okay. And then it'll reflect here. And the plastic right here is for like uh, for the insulation not to come out. Janae, what exactly is a fruit battery? A uh, fruit battery is a um, battery that um, you get for ci um, citrus fruits, and you get the copper and the zinc nails, and it would um, power the clock that I have here, as you can see. Um, you have to use a citrus fruit because um, the definition of a citrus fruit is a tree of a genus that includes citron. Okay, and how long does it take for it to actually charge up something? It took two minutes. Two minutes, that's it? Because with the black and red wire connecting to the zinc and the copper nail, with doing this, you can see the power clock. Wow, did you have a lot of fun putting this project together? Yes. How many years have you been a student here? Two years. How do you like it so far? Good. Yeah, what's your favorite part about Explore 2000? The projects. 
National Science Fair is such an exciting day for children because they get to meet kids from other schools and learn about their projects they've been planning since last summer. If you have a child that's in middle school, you should really consider Hudson County Schools of Technology as an option for vocational learning. I'm Jolene Matthews for Hudson TV in Jersey City.